I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back down to the water. It's faster than going through all the other side shit. Maybe this is an easy way to get over... Yeah. So I got a key from that guy, which I haven't used yet. And it's talking about treasure, so... Shit. What the fuck? I think I was perpetually falling there for some reason. Whoa. It's over. Just in case. Okay, so I have been everywhere and I've got a key for something I don't know what but it's for something uh Jesus! Fucking out of nowhere. Holy hell. I, mean, I went up there and I, I didn't see anything that would use a key. Oh my god. Who, what, where? I'm gonna go up there again just on the off chance there's something I can now interact with. Summoner, hell yeah. Outrage. Sacrifice grants 3% life seal for each minion sacrificed and increases movement speed by 15%. So is that... That could be, I guess, 6% life steal and 30% run speed for 10 seconds. If that, if that also doubles up on the movement speed. Uh, and the next one, Insight minions also receive 15% increased critical strike chance. Using a relic grants your minions the health and increases their damage by 15%. And then also their crit chance. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, great. More bad news. Slapped. <laughs> uh, all right, so last time I was in here, I couldn't find any reason to be in here at all. And the only thing different between now and then is I have a weird key that I have 
no idea what it's used for. I mean, for all I know, it's for the next area, which seems weird they would do that. I don't think... I can't think of a time where they've ever had you pick up an object that is required for a separate area or dungeon or whatever. So it feels wrong, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's right. Well, just, we'll just progress. Just progress. Hey, maybe I need the key for the. Actually, now that I think about it, I was picking up objects in the in the, one of the levels specifically to bring over to those are some giant ass fucking tentacles. That is a big ass thing. Yeah, I know. It was, it's huge. It could be a boss. I mean, let's face it, it's probably a boss. Oh, that is totally a boss. Look at that. Look at that. It's... Whew. Look at a little flappy boy. What in the shit is that? Oh, okay. Fan of that shit. Pissed off I broke it's partially broke its toy or something. Oh, ow. Yeah, no, fair enough. Oh, I don't trust that. I was gonna say I don't trust that at all. Like, you better get the hell out of this arena or you gonna die kind of thing. Okay. Okay. So can I damage the big thing in the back while we're fighting this robot thing? No. No. Or maybe I can. And I lost a minion. Lost both minions. Fast. So this time I didn't kill that thing.
Oh, I know why I didn't make these guys super powerful. What killed me? I thought I had health. I literally just healed to give my... Uh, fuck, Christ. All right. You shouldn't have done that much damage to me. Something else happened. Yeah, I can jump there. Oh, it has to, it dumps its life force into that thing. I think that's was doing a lot of the damage too, not just me. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about it. Oh, I remember. Okay, I remember. Right, right, right. I walked through that area. I have a key. I, I don't know what it's for still. And I was fighting the boss. And there was the laser beam screen wipe he does that I was bad at avoiding. Okay. Okay. I know what I'm doing now. Probably. And there's the ammo that's stuck in there I can't get. I don't... Maybe I can. No, it's just forever stuck in there for some reason. Who knows why? Rawr! Where's the other one? It's somewhere. Oh shit, fuck. Didn't I have... Oh no, I got hit a few times. I don't remember him jumping. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a while ago. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he can call us, but yeah. I'll have to be way over here to get back on the other side. <laughs> oh no. How did I get three shots out of that? Oh, you know what? I, it's probably. Not a time to talk, I think. Jump. No. Okay, so all four of his arms were doing weird shit to me that time. Man, that weak point is real awkward to hit.
Ah, shit, I forgot the hill. Oh, wow, I survived that. Not mad of him on that. And I lost a flyer. I feel like that ain't worth it. What the? Oh, the, the lightning hit me and then it immediately procs a second later for AoE. I didn't get there in time. I wasn't. I should have been fighting at that area instead of not remembering about that. Is uh, you know. what? Yeah. All right. I, I just I suck balls on that one. That was just real bad. Oh, they're just shooting the arms that are down. That's that's kind of dumb. Come on. Yay! He's doing his dumb charges. his arms that drop ammo.
have that on anymore. There we go. Strange object. Had a room. What the hell is this key for? Ornate key. Few among the pan have ever seen this finely sculpted key. Fewer still can imagine what lies behind its corresponding blah blah blah. The Empress keeps many secrets from her followers. It's no surprise that some are physically locked away. From prying eyes, yeah, quest item. Maybe it's in the king's, the queen's quarters, like back at the beginning. Won't fit. I don't know. What I do know is I now can get my second class, which for now will be Doggo, the old dog, blood bond. No. Spirit, yes. Or does this automatically take me places? I think I remember that doing that. Well, I can always come. Let me go read that thing again, because I remember there being a. Uh... All right. Oh, there. <laughs> Glad that's over. Well, you guys want to kill him, by all means. I didn't drop anything. Okay. Well, it was from over here. I'll let you... You know what? I'm going to read it by this. It's way easier to read it than... I'll let you are and have always been one of my most trusted vanguard, so this task I bear upon you. Take the key and find my personal lockbox in the court. Okay, hold up. Well, we're in Widow's Court right now. So that says to me the lockbox is in the Widow's Court. But where in the Witter's Court? Could be there. Maybe I didn't quite go all that way. Maybe there's some under area I, I missed. Entirely possible. I mean, I think they partially intended you to go this way. And then get to him. Why is that partially red? I, I, I literally walked through that. Mm. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, I'll use the stone. Barely, barely missed that jump. All right, it uses that as a checkpoint. I think this is going to just progress out of here. Might not, though. Yeah, no one forces me out. But I guess we'll do that perhaps after this. Get a load of this place. All right, Clementine. Where are you? Well, I just appeared out of nowhere.
This place kind of reminds me of uh, the f after you finish Earth and beat the bosses on Earth or the last boss on Earth in uh, the first game. You can take it to a place a lot like this. But it's a lot smaller and more like, hey, dude, here's the portals to, to go to the other worlds. And they're literally like, here's the one you can go in. Fair enough. Worth a try. That is an aggressive door. Uh, still don't know what that door. I mean, I know that already keys for him. Something. I must be missing something. Yeah, we're missing something, all right. I guess it's just, oh, okay, hi. That's over. Freaking random little rock, dude. Well, don't need to hit their crit spot to kill them. Hello, dense silicone ring. What do we got here? Rel capacity, I want to keep that. Experience, yes please. Reload speed, sure. Gain 200% health re regenerate. 200% of health regenerated as mod power. Now, that's awesome. But I also realize it's not my health regeneration as mod power regeneration. It's any time I heal, I gain 200% of that. Double whatever that value is as, as mod power. So I have to take damage for that to be a thing. Which, you know, happens often enough, but... Still. Alright. We got a new checkpoint here. I'm going to go back to Yaisha. Yaisha? Yeah, I'm going to go back to Yaisha, Yaisha, Yaisha real quick. We got the Red Throne and the Widow's Court. This is the only place called Court. So the ring has to be used here. It just has to be. Uh, I'm going to go back to the Red Throne. Because I did the thing she wanted me to do. I killed it. It's dead. Murdered. No longer existing. Hello, guy. Are you hostile? You're not hostile. Yeah, cool. Greetings, old lady. The wind shifts and the blade returns. Tell her. What of the abomination? Your Majesty's blade gave that thing a solid ass whipping. Now, yeah, your abomination slain. Your eternity. Truly. Yeah, dead. This day shall be forever marked as the first of a thousand thousand. 
Sure. The abomination is dead. The restoration can begin. Praise be to the Eternal Empress. Glory to the perennial throne. Boy, she sounds evil. So, Haxeltec, there is no love between its kind and Yesha's throne. But perhaps a seed has been planted. The Paxotec is free to go. Aren't you forgetting something? Her eternity is witness to a thousand thousand nights and mother to many and more. To forget is impossible. Long and long have the Pan valued veracity. Time and time again have Paxotec rewarded virtue with death. Loyalty was in doubt. The Paxotec's fidelity questioned. A blade was required, and so a blade was forged. She doesn't know where Clementine is, does she? The Empress has every confidence that the blade will cut a path to the much sought Clementine. She will remain vigilant for any sign. Thanks, I guess. Uh, good luck, your majesty. Her eternity has no need for luck, but she appreciates the sentiment. Spirit, blessing. Go forth, Paxotec. Should she need the blade, she will call. Perhaps not all Paxotec are feral vermin. Perhaps. Oh. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> uh, she's kind of a piece of shit. But hey, when you're used to ruling for all eternity and then, you know, your mortality gets screwed over, it's, uh, I don't know. Something, something, something. Maybe the box is in here. I don't think it is. Oh, hey, this is the other side of the thing. Mainly critical chance. Yeah. Well. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I came from here. I don't know why I can't get through. All right, so there... Uh, I'm going to run back to the thing so I don't have to load twice. Ooh, the bird! Also the bird. Yes, the bird. I think the bird appeared in the f second area for me. Let me go check the bird out real quick. Ooh, green. That's the bird poop. Hello, bird. Yeah? Can I... Can I get... Closer? Well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> There's a purple item by the bird. I thought you were supposed to kill the end boss and the bird would... Well, shit. All right, I'm gonna go pick the bird shit up. There's something else I need. Because I would like to see what that purple item is. Or the item, all items are purple visual drops in this game. Oh, I see a purple item up. Oh, it's the floaty boys. Hello! Ooh, floaty boys. I need to get those. For what does it bless me today? I killed the one of many. Can it be? It must. 
for Paxurtek have done this and more among the Pan. Truly, its kind are remarkable and terrifying. <laughs> know that what it has faced was and is no longer our god. The friend Paxurtek has done a great thing for Yesha, of which songs must be sung. Yeah, what can you tell me about this red sky? I can do more than tell the Paxultek. There is a song. Of course, I cannot sing it. I am a flautist, after all, <laughs> not a vocalist. The lyrics, too, are not the same in Paxultek tongue, but um, Yesha cares for all her children, kind and uh, wicked alike. To breathe one air, to swim the same stars, all are connected to all. Uh, when power calcifies, the blood moon will rise. Inaction serves the powerful. The moon brings forth death, the blood of the oppressed. Balance demands change, or something like that. <laughs> I have tried to give it some measure of meter, but the wordplay is forever lost in its tongue. Yeah, it, it, it do be like that, going between languages. Oh. May it find favor in the balance. You too, bud. I'm gonna go shoot some glowy dudes. Is this the place with the, uh... No, the other place has it. I think I need 15 to get everything I wanted out of it. Maybe just 5 or 10 yeah. I'm get rich. I know there's at least two items that comboed together is, is 15 total. Right. We can get dog. I said dog and then I totally didn't get dog. I was looking up like other like sub uh subclasses that are in this game. Cuz there's like there's four starters and then so far there's been five ones people have found and apparently there's a, potentially a sixth one. One of those is the gunslinger which is unlocked via pre-order or whatever. So that's yeah, we, we technically I had access to that one. Let's do this. But, uh, whoop, there it is. Whoop, gotcha. Oh, soul is mine. Over. All right, so, but any, anyway, there's like Alchemist, which is, yeah, whatever. There's a, uh, um, there's one called like an invader that has similar armor to this guy, and it's, he's very, ow. Uh, kind of interesting. He's, he's kind of damage and movement oriented. Has like a teleport and shit. One of them, though, is an engineer, and it's based off of like the uh, Nerud area. Like the the ROM technology from the last game where they're like super technologically advanced. I mean, you know, if you if you watched the if, if you remember from Dead Space, I have a thing for flamethrowers. I do like me the flamethrowers. And his second skill is a flamethrower. Oh, well, that was lucky. It's right here. Right next door to the root thing that we killed. Hello, Blood Moon Altar. So we have Bulwark. Great game. This is, this is the one I wanted. Getting a stack of Bulwark for each active summon. That is 6% per summon. Or sorry, 6% damage reduction per summon. Good. 
and the amulet summoning increases all damage dealt by 20% for 30 seconds. That is useful. And then every Blood Moon Essence I can turn into a Sanguine Vapor. Melee and range of lifesteal by 3.5% of base damage increases damage taken by 10%. So you take a little more damage, but you life leech on literally everything you do. And life leech is pretty damn potent. Uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Blade of Goal. I mean, it doesn't have anything interesting going for it other than it's just a one-handed sword. So, eh. I'm going to buy this for now. And that. And then I'll potentially come back and buy the goal thing later. But first, we have... Uh, a courtyard to scour once again for a chest that my uh, my thingy goes into. <laughs> the key I found. I feel like the box would just be down in that secret area, you know. I also feel like I I feel like it should be up there. Like it should be up here in this freaking statue room. Maybe I missed some special something or other. Man, that looked like I knew what I was doing. Uh, oh, oh, right. Oh, this I can't use this to get there. Oh, you know, yeah, I can't. I can't I can use this to get here. I don't kill me. All right, maybe her box is down here, <laughs> and. Maybe there's a secret or something I just missed at the time and forgot it was here. There's the chest I opened. And I literally picked up a key from here. Oh, fuck me. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we may have found it. Oh yeah, there it is. That it. Whoops. What do we have in here? Ornate box. I love ornate boxes. They're my favorite can. The luck box comes from across the sea, an unassuming heirloom from the era before the Empress and even Yaisha herself. The gilding and crest of the lid were added much later by Jenna's request. The death of the Thane was seen as Yaisha's ire and the end of the pan, but Yaisha holds neither wrath nor love, only balance. Perhaps Yaisha did not abandon the pan at all. Perhaps Yaisha only sought her children's repentance. Or, you know, a cosmic entity that travels from realm to realm is, is just plugging things and eating it and has jackson to do with you guys. <clears throat> that little whoosh. What's up? How you doing? The seed is both warm and harsh to the touch, as though both life and death might be contained within its stony shell. The Thane sheds a single seed only once in a thousand years, or so holds the tale once told by the Pan. Though not a single Pan has ever witnessed such a thing, and now most believe the Thane to be... That word. Inimitable. Immutable? Inimu inimu uh, fuck it, whatever. It means something that probably is like unending and unmoving and unchanging and blah, 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 blah. It is a quest item. 
Hmm. Who should I take the quest item to? My first thought is uh, the queen, but um, I don't know. Ooh, this is dangerous going to try though. Here we go. Wee! Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> I'm going to talk to the queen one more time and say, hey, stupid person who's stupid and you're stupid. I got a, I got the seed that you didn't want anybody to know about. It's probably because it gets rid of the illusion you've spun over thousands of years of how amazing blah, 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 garbage. But you know, hey, maybe uh, you can uh, use it to unfuck your world. Hello again. What is it, Paxotech? Uh, I found a thing seed. <sighs> Impossible. Does it know what it holds? Offspring of the Thane. Holy seed of life. It holds in its hands the salvation of all Pan, and it gives it freely. Axotic. It has blessed this aged throne more than any before it. Let the sins of the past be forgiven. Let the wounds be washed and healed. Approach, Paxotec. Take this gift with our blessing. From this day forward, be known as Thane Gear, the kin savior and ever redeemed. Cool. Got a ring. Bet you it's useless. Let's see here. Burden of the Rebel? Reduce skills cooldown by 15% and also reduces relic use speed by... Ooh. That's bad, but good. What was... There it is. Gain a stack of bulwark for each active summon. And we'll try that out. Because cooldowns. What is it, Paxotech? I'll be in my way. victory is a tribute. Cool. Mm -mm -mm, it's a mind tasty, I tell you what. Cool. Well, I'm not going to eat it because it's a whistle. But maybe Wallace can do something with this. Hello. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Of course you did. Oh, uh, let's see here. Simulacrum. Old whistle, Lumina. Ooh, you don't need the Simulacrum. Very good. Uh, yes, I do want this. And I want this. And I have six don't charges. Hell yeah. And now we have uh, the dog. Currently, we got guard dog. Companion will follow the handler and generate 15% increased threat while attacking. All damage to them is reduced by 20%. Companions engage enemies near the target location. Double tap companions return to the handler. Hell reduces damage by 50% to all allies with the 20 meters, and the companion generates additional threat. Cool. Nice. Okay. Oh, there he is. There's the good boy. Look at him. Look at the doggy. Hi, doggy. <laughs> yeah. Come on, buddy. Let's go. 